and well, I came back from a scrapyard and I have bought too many things. So, this table is from my CRV. Yeah. yeah, and it's from the earlier one, the first gen ones I think they are. And, well I got that. It's for my brother's car, it's to fit into the back of it, into a Civic. That seat is also for the first gen CRV. Looking at it, it looks, well, bone stock. Nothing wrong with it, nowhere. This is from a car which had 165,000 miles on it and the passenger seat, the only way you can see is this bit here where someone's arms obviously been. The bottom is not discoloured, the plastics are still clean, everything is still clean. There's no real scratches or anything on it either. All around, looks good. and. Around the back, and this box for the chair is the you know the under tray thing that sits underneath, and well, it looks brand new. Just gave it a bit of a clean just because it was disgusting. That chair is going into an office chair. Well, I'm going to make that another video and show you how to go with the chair. I also found in the same CRV this fire extinguisher, which expired in 1992 and I also got this which is the surround for the hand for the MX-5 and it has no damage on it whatsoever because the other one on my car has a crack in the middle back there and yeah we're going to see if we can fit this in now and table is it going to just drop in? Mm -hmm. I think it might fit. <laughs> it drops. <laughs> that fits amazingly. That fits. that fits really well. Like, look. <laughs> and I'm going to try giving this a bit of a clean using these two sprays as well as the cleaning wipes that came with. So I've tried cleaning it with a bit of these wipes as well as this. Using soapy water. It's just the chair needs a shop vac to clean it properly because it needs a proper soak. Only if I had a George. It's super weapon. Judge! And same with this bucket I just cleaned earlier. I cleaned it up all inside. I actually took it out and take it out. There's just these little tabs which you just push up. And it looks brand new again. And the other thing I've noticed, which is an issue with this chair, is... And the reason why this is so loose, like that, is because it's missing a screw, as you can see, at the top. And there's only one at the bottom, and the bottom one's even loose. I just took the side panels off just to see how bad it was underneath. And I'm not sure how, if you can see it on here. Yeah, it's not the cleanest. And on the other side. Uh, worst story. It's disgusting under here. As you see, this is the cleanest I've been able to get it so far. With all the equipment I can, ha I've been able to use it. I've vacuumed it as well, but I'm going to have to wait for when I can get the rug doctor so I can clean up completely and see how much cleaner it can be. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click my fingers and it'll be tomorrow. And we're back. And I got a rug doctor as you can see, so I'm going to use it on here. And let's see how much filth comes out of this seat.
and you saw I cleaned up that part of it. Look how dirty it was originally. That's clean. That is all filth. And same with on here, you just I just cleaned that side there. All of that is just dirt. And yep, the seat does look cleaner. Those patches are from watermarks that you can see. But if we go look in here, yeah, that that's a lot of filth. So I cleaned up the seat, as you can see, with that. Took a bit of time. Did bottom, top, headrest, armrest, and the back as well. And show you around it tomorrow because, well, it's a bit dark. So, it's the next day. It's raining outside, as you can tell. And here's the seat and how it looks in the light. So, yeah, it doesn't look too bad. I went over it one more time just now, so that's why it has built these, like, well, you don't see from that angle. Yeah, because that's the pattern in the see itself because I can just and then yeah you can see it's all gone that shape but the seats are much cleaner now on this last run I did the water was not even even brown anymore yeah I think that's it for this video for the scrapyard haul for that and the fire extinguisher as well as the other parts I showed so well I'll catch you in the next video which next time I am going to be making this chair into an office chair as a bit of a hint. I have all the stuff ready and I just need to get it done. That's actually what this wood is for. And also just a quick thing I have just after I finished off is if you like this stuff, if you want, just like and subscribe. Alright, see you in the next one.